Dalton's law states that the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the pressures exerted by each of the gases if it alone were present and occupied the volume. Simply stated, mixed gases will stay in the same proportions under pressure. One gas in a mixture will not compress more or less than another. For us in scuba, this means our bodies will absorb the same proportions of a gas mixture irrespective of the depth. It is this principle which makes it possible to estimate gas levels in our bodies, plan repetitive dives, and avoid the bends. You can see how this would directly impact a diver's air consumption. The compressed air that a diver breathes at depth will be used more quickly than at shallower depths. Henry's law states that the amount of gas that will absorb into a liquid at a given temperature is almost directly proportional to the partial pressure of that gas, meaning that at higher pressure, our bodies will absorb more gases. At great depths, the amount of nitrogen and other gases absorbed into our blood and tissue is greater than the amount absorbed at shallow depths. The two laws address themselves to the fact that when a diver descends in the water column, the gases he breathes will ingas or become liquid. This is because all gases are soluble in liquids. This gas exchange occurs in the tiny sac-like vessels called the alveoli. Nitrogen is a gas that is most readily absorbed into the blood and body tissues. Body tissue is roughly 80% water. When a diver ascends slowly, the gas or air will outgas back into its gaseous form and will safely be expelled from the lungs. Boyle's Law Charles' Law, Dalton's Law, and Hendry's Law all pertain directly to scuba diving. Each of them are important considerations in keeping you comfortable and safe.